America's childhood obesity epidemic is on the rise, with over one in five children being overweight, according to the CDC. Let's start over to reporter Michael Meraki for more on this important issue. Thanks, Kira. It's not just obesity that's up, but also depression and heart disease, with studies showing the three to be linked. It's a vicious cycle. America has been in the midst of an obesity epidemic for the past decade. The rates of heart disease and related complications on the rise. Chances are you know someone suffering from such conditions. Coach McLaughlin certainly has. Um, also, you know, I've had a lot of deceased relatives in my life that have died from some kind of disease. So that's a, another big motivation of mine because I want to be able to try to, you know, beat uh, my genetics basically of things that I can control. And I think it's very powerful when you can take control of your health and wellness so you can live longer and, you know, be, in, be on this world for a long time to impact people. Heart disease and other conditions brought on by an inactive lifestyle are prevalent. But that doesn't mean that there's no hope. The solution is actually pretty simple. Well, exercise is important for a few reasons, right? It, it, it helps um, with your body. It helps um, um, free from injuries, keep you free from injuries. It's also great for the mind. Um, it attacks the endorphins, um, that which makes you feel good. So if you're feeling good, then that also helps on like uh, decrease the possibility of like depression and that type of thing. So it's just, it's all around good for your body. While it might sound simple, exercise is good for you. Doing a sport, lifting weights, or even just going on walks can all reduce your chances of being injured, getting a heart condition later in life. With CPHS News reporting for the Wolfcast, I'm Michael Meraki. So Michael, how does this affect students um, specifically? Well, especially with, um, it's, it's kind of a weird way to say it, but especially with our modern lifestyle, a lot of people just stay indoors. They don't really go out and do anything. And especially with school, stress can compound and then stress can lead to conditions like overeating and that kind of thing and then you get overweight and then you start getting health problems and like I said earlier it's a vicious cycle. So Michael what are some ways that people can start exercising? Well it's really simple go outside start walking if you're so inclined get a gym membership all of those can really help really anything helps. Awesome thanks again Michael.